Well, here we are in the Heroes Bar and my hero. John, that's so sweet. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello virtually to our wonderful president, Christine. And Christine, we are sitting in the Heroes Bar um, and it is a special day. We are going to be whisked off to rehearsal in a few moments for the, for the naming ceremony. Uh, but um, I want to start with something that you said to me last night and I had no idea and it sort of resonated with me that we've reached the grand number of 27. Tell us what that number means. Well, we were at 27 ships and then COVID happened. And as you know, a number of ships left the fleet. And so it's pretty incredible to think here we are 2024 back to 27 ships but many, many, many more cabins, given that the ships that we've gotten since 2019 are much larger, including our three beautiful XL class ships and the ship that we're on today, Carnival Firenze, uh, as well as her sister, Venezia, in New York. So we've been very, very busy. We have, and you have, and I guess the question I always ask you, and I don't want to change anything today, is how are you? How are you doing and what is the continuing motivation that you have when you wake up every morning? Well, first of all, personally, I'm, I'm doing great because as you know, my husband Andrew, 43 years, hard to believe, uh, received a double lung transplant at the end of September. And so we've had a tough uh, journey to get there, but he is just doing amazingly well. And yes. so, you know, to all of you that may be uh, donors on your driver's license, you know, remember it really, it really does save a life. And uh, so we've been incredibly blessed. And for me, when people said, how did you deal with all of that and do your job? But for me, my job is, has really been not, um, never boring. And as I said last week um, at an event, the thing that keeps me going every day is, you know, the, the teams on board our ships who work so hard, who are away for their families for months at a time, who really deliver the carnival experience and make the, the va memorable vacations that our guests love and especially um, all, of, all of your fans, right, who come back again and again. And so for me, every day, the decisions we make always with how do we make sure we're supporting our team, how are we giving them the tools, the training, the opportunities um, that, that many of us maybe take for granted. Uh, and you know so many of the stories of our crew members who are supporting families back home and who have been with us for decades. So for me, that is really what brings me the greatest joy in our job and then seeing our guests and our crew interact on the ships. Because the, the, the combination of, of the guests with the crew, we use the words carnival family and we really sincerely mean it, don't we? Because the crew with the guests together, the combination is family. You agree with that? I think it's family and it's really a very unique experience. And you and I were talking at dinner last yeah. night, how much people in today's society are very isolated. People don't do the same things that we used to do where we would gather, whether that was at the supermarket or at the movie theater or a bowling alley. People are tending to, you know, they have their food delivered. They, you know, they don't come together. And I think when people come together on a carnival cruise ship, it is an experience like no other. And that is really made possible by our crew. And you're right, I, I, so many people say to me that on land they're quiet, they do their job, they watch a bit of TV and they go to bed, but on here they they sing like nobody's watching at karaoke, they dance like nobody's watching on Lido, and, um, and, and, and you culminate that, you really do. One thing you can never do, Christine, is ever go on Undercover Boss, because <laughs> I do not believe there is a single crew member out of the 35,000 we have at sea who do not know you and who you haven't met. And I salute you, I don't know where your energy comes from, but the, the crew feed off you 
and you should well, be, I feed off of them, well, so it's, yes, a, it's, a, mutual, it's, it's, mutual, it's a mutual feeding. And we had a nice, uh, we had a nice pep rally this yeah, morning yeah, with Carnival Forense, and uh, and then you know I spent probably forty five minutes taking selfies and photos with the crew, and it makes them happy, makes me happy, and again, we're really we're really blessed, and the ship is beautiful, she so is we're gorgeous. so excited to have her welcome and. We're going to have lots of people watching this. Um, two quick things. First of all, what? How do we? What, what's next? What's the next big celebration? Have you got a key to tell us to open that door about what's well, next? Well, obviously, up next is celebration <laughs> key, and we've been introducing the different portals, as we're calling them, that are going to be great guest experiences, whether. You know, people are traveling uh, with other couples, adults, kids, and families, but it's going to be a spectacular uh, destination. And we're also very, very excited because I know your fans all are well aware and have been to Half Moon K. Uh, we're very excited that we're going to be able to have a berth there so we can bring the larger ships in and not have to do the tender operation that we do today um, on uh, on most of the calls so that's going to be a great combination and then as you know 2027 uh, we get the next XL another XL ship we haven't figured out the name yet I'm sure your fans might have lots opinions of about that lots of suggestions uh, and then another one to follow in 2028 so so much to look forward to yes um, I posted the picture a few days ago of you receiving your lifetime achievement award it would be a miss of me not to say congratulations you don't have to say anything just keep smiling because that was in a massive moment and very rare for them to give that kind of award and uh, I can't wait to see uh, your statue next to David <laughs> here on the ship. And seriously, congratulations. It is beyond deserved. Wow. I'm very excited. And stay tuned because perhaps, just perhaps next year, 2025, there may possibly be a president's cruise. Well, it's ten year, it'll be my 10 year anniversary, so I think it's time. I do as well. Thank you, for Christine, for taking your valuable time with us today. And thank you for everything you do for us as crew and for all the thousands of people watching across the world. We want to say a big thank you to you for your leadership and for your fun. And thank you, John. Thank, thank you, you for all you do. You make a difference. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks, everybody.